uh, thanks to primitive politics between the deputy president Dende Nyoro, Kimani Ishongwa, and Waigoro, and the rest. Mount Kenya region from Meru to Nakuru will turn to be a theater of absurd in the coming days. People who will be seen to be supporting the deputy president will be heckled by the people who will be seen to be supporting the rest. And the people who will be seen to be differentiating their politics from that of Regadi uh, Gashagu uh, uh, shall be seen to be the enemies of those camps. I think there's some genius sitting somewhere who is uh, enjoying when Mount Kenya becomes an asylum of mental cases. Politics have started being organized along two camps, a, fac a faction that support uh, Gashagua and a faction that doesn't support him. And politicians will be mobilizing to take their people to go and heckle each other. Now I wonder, guy, who, what happened to my people? Who will save my people? Who ate our people's golden egg? And who killed the Gs that used to lay such eggs? From one politics to another, Mount Kenya people shall not rest. And the leaders therein are not agitating for their interest. The leaders therein are agitating for their greed, for their selfishness, and for their uh, flexing of muscles. Not because of coffee, not because of mira, not because of water and roads and schools that our people are agitating. No, it's because of tender power positions and greed of all. The deputy president has his mandate cut out by President Ruto. The member of parliament, each in their constituency and governors, have their mandate cut out by the constitution. Instead of doing barazas in Mount Kenya regions to update us on the progress and, 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 the, and, and the welfare of those projects, they are going around calling each other sacks, calling each other as a, a fence sitters, and they are brewing war against each other. My brothers and sisters from Mount Kenya, Momeru, Moe, Bumodaraka, Mogekoyo, do not hate each other or fight it as each other because it is not your war, it is not your interests at stake, it is the greed of the people you elected. Shun them and keep off. This country need us whole and need us better and need us now to unite it and to progress it and to show it, uh, to show it the way. Bad politics is bad life and more used to say, Sia Sambaya, Maisha Mbaya. This kind of politics playing now in Mount Kenya will take us down and we will retard, retrogress and be forgotten in the radar as we fight. God, help your people and people, help yourself. When you go to vote, never leave your head at home. Carry your head so that you can determine the future of your electoral unit. Carry your head so that you can determine the future of your country. If not for you, for your generations. And I'm talking to my youthful people. Anybody under 45, don't take part in retrogressive politics. Think instead of how we can make lives better for our children and those who will come after us. Because this one, we owe the Republic. And I know God. Ah, uh, I mean, you can make it.